brother of the Reverend was even against him becoming a woman. Do you know why? Why? Good. Because she was afraid of losing him. And if she loses him, she will be childless. But he was the only son. But I need a grandchild. God, I need a grandchild. How? I have now become a laughing stock. Oh, God. You are the only one that has an answer to this. Oh, God. Please help me. Help me, God. Save me from it. Oh, Jinekem, Jinekem. My God and my Father, please deliver me. My God and my Father. And later, the Reverend Father was so powerful and strong.
I've never seen a reverend father as radical as Father Dekla. That man is loaded with the word of God. In fact, he has a special anointing. He almost turned the money mass into a healing service. You are right. I've seen people of his kind. Let's pray that he doesn't ask to be transferred like others. I don't think so. Father Declan will stay. Can't you see the way he was talking with all enthusiasm? Jacob! Leave me! Leave me! From the look in his Leave me, leave me. Mama, Jacob, come on, Jacob. Jacob, where are you people taking that boy to? The little boy coming down and says, I'm ready to come Yes. Leave me, leave me. I've done nothing wrong. Leave me. Make sure that he doesn't take care of you. Leave me, leave me. I've done nothing wrong. Leave me. That's how seems right. Mm -hmm. It's good he pays with his blood so that when next he reincarnates, he will learn to keep and obey the rules of our great grandfathers. Oh. That is fine. Let us continue with our discussion. You said the priest will uh... He doesn't know this village. Though. That priest doesn't know our village. Sin the power that matters. 
It is because you have not seen the power of God, the Most High. Take me to Otashi Ngele now. Please. You want them to give me to? See, no one will harm you. Come. Ewa! He killed one of our grandfathers. What nonsense and infiltrated grandfathers. I beg your pardon. How dare you come into my compound to speak against Otashi and our existing tradition? Tradition? Jesus Christ. You call that barbaric culture of yours tradition? You have no conscience. Because if you did, you wouldn't have ordered the death of an innocent child. Who is innocent? Her child, of course. Innocent? Yes. You mean I should spare the life of a boy that killed a fish from a forbidden stream? There is no stream that is forbidden. Because my Bible tells me in the book of Psalms, chapter 24, verse 1, that the earth is of the Lord's and everything thereof. The earth and everything in it. So, that includes the fishes. So no one has any right to stop anyone from eating any fish from any stream whatsoever. God created the fishes. So no man should forbid any person from eating from it. Ah! Uta Singala! You cannot teach us a tradition. Listen. If you have come here to thwart our tradition, I assure you, you will never succeed. Never! Now, leave my compound before Tasha loses his sort on you. Leave! Oh, Tasha is powerless where I am. And I am warning you for the last time. If I hear of one more unlawful killing in this village, you and your cohorts will never ever be happy with what I am going to do with you. He brought me up. Help! Bota Shingale! The thing that brings the bone! This guy has dead me! I need you to wait through! You cannot do anything! Never! Never! Hey! What gave him so much guts to come into my compound? To speak to me without fear of faith. One who just came into this community barely two days ago. He was supposed to be standing with one leg. He's rather standing perfectly on two legs. Ah! Because of our fathers, he have dared me for touching the legs. We shall see. Why never I work at Canada? More than no more. But I should know her. But I'm better than my cabbage. Of your Gadana, you get carry a ticket of one day. Oh, oh, oh. My father, listen, no one ever tell you that man. That man is evil. He can kill you. Don't you love your life? Kill me, you said? Oh, God, 
Let me tell you something, Catkist. For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Why do you people so much believe and fear that fetish priest who has no power? Because as far as I am concerned, he is powerless and can never harm me in any way because I know who is in me. I am so disappointed in you for believing in that worthless creature. Who is powerless? That man you went about talking to is evil. He dies with the devil himself. Yes. Even if he lives in the sea, that is more reason I said that he is powerless. The devil is a defected foul. At least have you forgotten what is written in the Bible? That he that lives in us is greater than he that lives in the world. Have you forgotten that? But I know where you are going to. The sense of what I'm saying is that you should allow the sleeping dog to lie. Allow the people with their tradition to face our Christianity. After all, the Bible says, Give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Katkis, can you hear yourself? Can you? Huh? You talk like one of those pagans in the streets. And I tell you something. If all of you in this village have been saying this atrocity has been committed and kept quiet, I, Reverend Father Declan Okechuku, can never condone it. And hope so that if they try it one more time, if they ever try this one more time, I am going to go to any length to make sure that I humiliate and destroy them. This is a promise. But I'm sorry for you. Do not be sorry for me. Brother, you be sorry for your fetish, or repented and ungodly sound. I am a reverend father of the Roman Catholic Church. I am not just an ordinary priest. I'm here on a mission. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I foresee problems. Because you want to declare you're looking for that problem. I don't know what gives him the courage to go and confront with us. And he's even threatening to do more. If he hears, Anything about him, the person can take anyone unlawful. Unlawful? Was the death of that boy unlawful? Someone who killed one of our grandfathers. A fish that is not to be eaten. What does he know about tradition in the first place? You don't know, Father Declan. To him, nothing is forbidden. He said that the Lord created everything for food. Oh, uh, are you telling me? that Otashingele led the Reverend Father to go away. After going there to confront Otash, eyeball to eyeball. Eh? He told me that he spared his life because he is a stranger and because of us. That's why he asked me to warn the Reverend Father to take care of our tradition. Otherwise, there will be a wisdom for him to carry. The death that will kill a dog will not allow it to perceive the smell of excreta. Let us continue with our drink. Um, Katniss, there will be no need for that. Have seen the wine. No need for this Mother, who showed you my, my house? Besides, I didn't hear you driving. What happened to your car? Oh, the car? Well, it is parked at the parish house. Well, I didn't know you as somebody who is a stranger in this village with a hidden identity. And I... I... I decided to walk around the village and see things for myself. What are these going? I mean, uh, well, that would be necessary. Maybe next time. Let me give you people the opportunity to complete your enjoyment. Um, try and see me in the evening. That's important. Ikech, I'm finished. 
The little fella caught me red-handed with alcohol. Is that one an offense? After all, the Bible said, take a little alcohol for your stomach's sake. Have you forgotten my position as a catechist? Mm, maybe that's why he said you should check him this evening. I will see him now. And there are some bubble and rock. Oh, how did you go? You to call yourself a catechist in the Roman Catholic Church. You must be ready to live a very holy life just like Christ lived when he was an earth. You can't be in the world to change the world. I hate sin. And that is why I don't condone it. So if you must work with me very effectively in propagating the word of God, the gospel of Christ, then you must be holy in and out. Anything short of that is not acceptable at all. When I ever had you, I'm a committed believer of the gospel. I promise to live a worthy and emulative life. Well, let me believe that. That is why I am called. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes, Chico. What is the problem? Your wife has just delivered a massive baby boy. What? I'm finished. Ghost of our land. Ghost of our land. Why must it be this week? Why will she deliver this time around? Uncle, what happened to this week? Chico. We are in a holy week. Let's get her to Otashi Archi. That innocent child. That boy is gone. Otashi will take possession of him. Possession? Yes. Ah, uh, Uncle. Chico. You will not understand. Anyway, there's nothing the eye see and shed blood. Our tradition it has been here before our forefathers. It has been consuming fire 
I'll advise you to stop calling Otaisa Sule to prevent. To avoid them unleashing their wrath on you. Enough! Enough of that nonsense. I have told you that Otashi or whatever the name is called is powerless. I am an anointed man of God, an ordained priest of the Roman Catholic Church. I know what I am. There's nothing you or I can do. The child has been taken to the evil forest. Stop saying that, Catechist. Now you go and tell Otash not to have that child. I have tolerated enough. That woman, the mother of that child, is a member of our church and has nothing to do with Otash. Father, it's true that she is a member of our church. In this case, she delivered on the and they will dedicate to Otash. In this case, her membership is of no importance. Rather, the tradition will take its full course. Well, you had me cut kissed. Go and tell that your demonic priest what I said. A failure to compromise. I will give you total hope. Okay, Father, let me go and deliver your message. Take this pain to the heaven, Father. He will eat it and die. He will eat it and die. Now go. Yes, great one. One more thing. He must not know where it came from. Yes, great one. Mm -hmm. You can go. What about if he ask me? You can mention any name. I don't think he knows the names of all the people in his church. <laughs> you think you're wise? We shall see who is wiser. <laughs> Katkis, this is the first time I'm hearing from you what makes me happy. Yes, Father. Okay, Father. Oh, good afternoon. How are you? Um, who is your mother? She's... I know her mother. Her name is Olama Iwabu. She's a member of CWO. I'll show her to you during tomorrow's meeting. Oh, that would be very thoughtful of you. So that I will have time to show my appreciation to her. Okay, you know what you do for me now? You go to the backyard through this way. Um, there's a best about in the kitchen. Uh, you just give this to him. Thank you. Sorry! Sorry! Oh, Jesus! What kind of egg is this? Young girl! Who sent you? of who destroys you and that person that sent you. That's what? Are you Tashi. sure? I know him very well. He can't. Oh. He wants to kill me. Katkis. He wants to kill me. Otashi Gele wants to kill me. Eh? Okay, now. You go and tell him that no weapon fashioned against the children of God shall prosper. Come on. Come on here. Come, 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 come. You take this place. He wants to kill me. Otashi Gele wants to kill me. Oh, he thinks that it is easy to get the child of God. What did Otashi Gele do that for? Jesus. Okay, you know what? You tell him that this is his end. I will destroy him by the power of God. The power of the most high. I will destroy him. Otashi Gele. Yes. Oh, whatever you call yourself, I am warning you for the last time. Let this be the first and the last time you will plan evil against me. Because if you dare try it again, I promise you, you
you won't like what I am going to do to you. Enough! Who are you to threaten me? Servant of the Mosai, look, I have your life in my palms. I can take it whenever I want. That is a lie. Otasi or whatever you call yourself. I am warning you. Let this be the first and the last time you will ever plan evil against me. Oh, you think I am somebody you can eliminate that easy? No, my lord, leave it. And if you try me one more time, I promise you, you will not like what I am going to do to you. You cannot do anything! Never! Okay. You cannot do anything! Okay. Look, if you try to get me upset, I will command Otasi to go after you. And that means instant imbecile. Otasi does not exist where my God is. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yes. And I tell you, you can threaten those under your cage. Like all those maidens and servants of Otasi that you have hanging around here. Not an anointed Roman Catholic priest like me. I promise you, if you dare me again, I am going to make you walk on every part of this village, naked as a madman. Who? You. I? Yes. Walk around naked? Yes. In this village? Tosses, my lord. You're out of your senses. I am not out of my senses. You are daring the cause. Okay. There are many ways to kill a rat. To not dare the lord. I will surely get you. Okay. Emanka. Emankoso. Do you know what confuses me? The way you remain so faithful to this worthless fetish tradition. Because Otashi is a consuming That's God. a lie. It is my God that is a consuming fire. You are playing with your life, gentlemen. Okay. You have dead me, Otashi Ngele. Hi! Ghost of our grandfathers. No! A battle line is drawn! I must not keep silent to allow this happen in this land! No! Madness! Madness! Listen! A battle line has been drawn! You are the priest that was newly posted to this village. What's that his name? Father Declan. He has dead Tashingele. The ghost of our grandfathers. Okuna kunyere watana kadi erebuya. Hey, that reverend father is fighting more than that is called. Why won't he allow our tradition to be? Or don't they have tradition in their land? Ask me. Look, the whole thing beats my imagination. I've asked him to stay clear from our tradition. Otherwise, when the trouble says he will be carried alone. Maybe he's not aware how other reverend fathers left this village. Omaro! Um, Am I mad? I can't. How can I ask you to sing a to return the child our grandfathers have taken? Don't I love my life? Uh -huh. Let him go and take the child by himself. Must he send you?
homage because this is the beginning of the new year and I brought you meat that you may not lack meat throughout the year Shingele said I should inform you that no stranger is allowed to come out to work because it's a day dedicated to Otashi's masquerade to see Otashi. What are you insinuating? That I should stay indoor for the sake of Otashi? What a nonsense. Now you go and tell Otashi or whatever you call him. But I, Reverend Father Dick Lando Kechuku, has chosen tomorrow to be the day. I will visit my church members that I have not seen for long. Please, Father, I will advise you to see your church members next tomorrow. You are a stranger, and no stranger is allowed to come out tomorrow. If you do, it is an abomination that will take a head to Christ. Please, Father, let the sleeping dog lie. I can never let a sleeping dog to lie. This is a cause for a fight. You're talking about stranger. Can a child of God be a stranger in his father's land? The earth is of the Lord's. Now you go and tell them to stay off my way because my God is a consuming fire. Father, this is a piece of advice. I must take my leave. Now I urge you hypocrites to change your ways and repent. Christ is coming again. You who are in church and fight against the church, know ye that Christ is coming again. You broke our rules. You saw the Otashi secret masquerade, which a stranger supposed not to see. You are to pay a penalty of two he goes. Or else, Otashi will finish you in three days' time. Good. Now you listen to me, you fetish priest of an unknown God. Otashi does not exist where I am. As far as I'm concerned, Otashi does not exist. So you stop wasting your time serving an unknown God. I can see you are very, very stubborn. You are very, very stubborn. I will take my leave. But I 
promise you. You must come to my shrine, begging even with a cow, after Otashi might have visited you with a punishment. Let's go. Yes, God of Abraham, God of Israel, I have seen the likes of Pharaohs and Nebuchadnezzar in our time. God, please, I beg thee, do not visit them in your wrath, for they may repent. Forgive them for they are blind and oblivious of the fact of your divine existence. I saw the elder was going to share the gold that was donated for Otashing in the festival. It would escape my memory. Keep this Bible first. Let me attend to tradition. It was here before the church came. Let me go before they finish sharing the gold. Oh. Good day, Father. Uh, good day, Catholic. How are you? Okay, Father. Okay. How can this Reverend Father be so cruel as to suspend me just like that? After my many years of service and dedication to the church, Mba, Chai Chukwa Mekwe, Mba. At least, who do this Reverend Father think he is? How can he just suspend you just like that? Ikech, what pains me most is that he did not allow me to say a word. How can he give his judgment without allowing me to utter a word? Hmm. That is. You can just stop calling me Katkis. You know my name, Checheta Ogulaf. As for that Reverend Father, I'll give him fire for fire in this village. He must surely live. Of course, he will live. Katkis, I'm sorry, Checheta. We will sort it out when the Reverend Father returns from the city, okay? I can't allow this insult to go this way. Of course you can't. Can you imagine that? After your many years of service to God, and commitment to the church. How can he do such a, such a thing to you? Of course, it is not possible. Okay. Oh, the man. Ha ha. Get him It's a pleasure meeting you. My name is uh, Reverend Father Dikla. I am Reverend Sister Deborah. Um, Sister, there is something I would like to discuss with you. Really? Yes. Okay, go on, I'm listening. You see, um, when I saw you at first, I was so shocked because I haven't seen you in my dreams. Oh, Brother, let me say a revelation from God. Yes, I was told to look for you, that you would help me achieve the great task at uh, my place of primary assignment. Father, there is no doubt in what you are saying. The Lord has revealed it to you while in the convent. Okay. But the problem was how to locate you and how to even see you. I am happy with you. Oh. 
coincidence. What a coincidence, my dear. So, sister, tell me, what, uh, which of the convents are you in? I was at St. Mary's convent in Okilika. Okay. But I am resuming at St. Grace Motherless Buddhist Convent. Okay. You know what? I will talk to the bishop concerning this. And uh, meanwhile, I thank you so much for granting me this audience. Thank you, brother. Thank God I met you. Physically, not uh, dreams anymore. Where <laughs> um, yeah, actually is this your place of primary assignment? Sister Deborah, you need to go to this village and say things for yourself. The, these people, they have a very hostile tradition. They worship a tree. Can you imagine that? Where is this place? Amachara. Amachara? Yes. Yes. Uh, That's my village. Your village? I think you are right. We will set up a prayer group. And we are going to embark on about seven days fasting and praying before we set out on that mission. This is a spiritual battle. That's why Otashika is brought in out there to die. He is under Otashika's torment now. He will soon die. No! He cannot die. I cannot allow that to happen. Formination in this place for anybody to touch a person under Otashika's torment. Otashika is no god.
young man. Both of you again. I come against all the principalities and powers in thee. I cast every evil spirit that what I shall spelt on you too. Holiness the Pope and reported Reverend Father Declan myself. Why won't he allow our tradition to be? He's making our people to believe Otash is powerless. He won't succeed. Come. Otash is planning for his due. In a few days' time, it will be announced. Watch out and see. Deborah, how are you? I am fine, thank you. I didn't know that you came. I came back two days ago. I see. Are you going back to the city now? Actually, no. I am around in the meantime. The bishop asked me to assist for the day. Okay. I've not seen you in the church since I returned. Ah, I'm no longer the catechist. The little father dismissed me because of the masquerade feast which I partook. Anyway, that's by the way. You say you are here for the meantime. Yes, we are embarking on a mission, and I will leave after the mission. A mission? What type of mission? Well, um, it's a top secret for now. I have to go. See you some of the time. Okay, put your mother for me. What type of problem? Oh, you have not had the latest. Latest on what? Uh, you have not had that Reverend Father Declan is planning to go and call down our grandfather's Otashi the Great Tree. You can't be serious. I am very serious. That was why they sent Reverend Sister Deborah to go and at 16, since she knows in and out of that forest. I see. That's the reason she told me that she's here for a mission. Oh. She even told you that. Yes, I never knew that the mission was all against our grandfathers. Now, what do we do? Not the question of what do we do. We must stop them by all means. We have to. We have to. Wait, let me dress up. Don't! 
prepare for thrashing. If they venture enter into that forest, they will all die even before they get to the tree. Otashi mm -hmm. is a caution. Otashi, mm -hmm. don't you think we should order the youth to go and put down that church, mm -hmm. the Reverend Father Declan and Sister Deborah? You are right. It has not come to that. The battle is not ours. It is that of Otashi. Hmm? Consider it done. Hey, go. You, let's go. Papa! Who's that singer? I don't know what I'm doing. Kaganogu! He's not a woman. Let me see whether we stay get to challenge the authority of the gods of that singer and our forefathers. <laughs> Deborah! Deborah! He said, where is Deborah? She has gone to the mission. What did she commit? She has a case to answer before Otasi. Yes. I've got Don't call me casket because I'm no longer one. You better want her. You better want her to desist from her plans with the Reverend Father to pull down the Otashi tree. Else, this village will not contain us. Boys, stop. Let's go. What has Deborah got to do with it? What has she got to do with it? Forest to cut down the tree. The tree that has been there, the ancient tree that has been there, and our people worship. Eh? Do you know what it means? Do you know how many lives that tree has taken? Eh? Mama, nothing is going to happen to us. It is a mission backed up by God. You are my only child. So I won't let you go to that forest. Never. Mama, I have to. But that's the major reason I came back to this village. Hmm? Hmm. Listen, Mama. For me to leave. Otashi tree cannot hurt us because we carry Christ in our inside. One with God is in joy. I have said it to you. I have said it. I won't let you go to that forest. Never. Never. You can't go to that forest. Mm. I am confused. Mm. She better not be the stubborn fly that always ends up going into the grave with the corpse. Let us take care of anything she finds that she will collect it. She will just take it. Eh? My hands are off. What is this one doing here? Eh? Stop pretending. One how. You better warn her. Give her a very serious warning. Anyway, this is not why I'm here. Let me take my leave. Yes, I am talking to her. Please, please. Had please just do me that favor, please. Don't you have it. If you listen to me, I know, I know. Please, help me. She can listen to you, please. Please help me. Okay. Please. Thank you. 
Is there anyone inside the house? Yes, who is it? Oh, madam. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, I came back this evening and was told that her sister Deborah came to the parish house looking for me. I decided to come around to see if she is in. Is she inside? She's not coming. Well, I... Father, why do you want to kill my daughter? Why do you want to kill her for me? Eh? She's all I have left. Uh, Mama, I, I really don't understand you. Oh. Why do you even want to embark on cutting down with that tree? Eh? Don't you know it is dangerous? Oh, is that what you are talking about? Look, Father, I don't want my daughter to be part of that dangerous trip. I don't want her to die. Well, madam, I can assure you, nothing is going to happen to your daughter. God is with us. Please, Father, count her out. Count her out! I can't really understand that there's a little mixed up here, but my uh, mother, if you don't mind, uh, could you bring out her uh, or let us go inside so that I can sit down and explain a few things to you? I don't need any explanation. Leave her alone. It is true that I am a Christian. Please let Otachi treat. Remain. Let it be. Cutting it down might cause some head. And I don't want my daughter's head to be one of one of it. Please, please leave her alone. Leave her alone. Well, madam, I think uh, that is a call. And must be fulfilled. Very soon. I've told you my own. I said my own. She's not going to be a part of that. Uh, and, uh, uh, if I don't come back before your father, eh, tell him that I've come to see my brother and his family. Eh? Make sure you tidy the house so, and complete all your chores before going out. Uh, I want this house to be what the baker calls speak and span. Oh, Mama know you. Well. <laughs> I'll catch you then. <laughs> Don't mind them. A man can never challenge his king. Eh? If they like, they can go ahead. But whatever they see, they should take it. Because an ocean cannot draw one whose feet have never touched his shore. It's nothing to be worried about. But one thing I know, all the shingle can never spare them this life. Eh? I'm happy I told you. It doesn't know be that the elders are not aware of what is happening. My daughter, don't worry yourself. Eh, let me go. There's eh? no problem. Eh, let me go and see yeah. my brother. I need you to succeed in this mission. 
please. Father, I can't come to me, please. I beg you to take my name. Sister Deborah. Sister Deborah. Hey, let, wait. Let me tell you something. There's something you need to understand.
Yes, but not good. The boys have just left here. They told me that they shot the Reverend Father, but he, the bullets could not harm him. This is not possible. Are you telling me that the man is invisible or what? I don't believe these fairy tales. Let's think of what needs to do before that Reverend Father towards our tradition, which has been here for years. Did the boys return the money since they were unable to do the job? No. What are we going to tell Otashinge? I don't know. In Nilo Tempore, Dixit Jesus Dishipuli Suis, Nemo Potest Duobus Dominus Servire, How can you? As we proceed to Otashin Tree, now I want you all to go to your respective homes and bring your cutlasses and the axes. Yes, Father. Is that understood? Yes, yes Father. Ah, right on time, yes. Father. Yes. Sister. Oh, thank God that you changed your mind. You came at the right time. Father, we don't have any other time to waste. That's true, must be brought up at all costs. Yes! yes. So, we have to go now. Sure. sure. Let us go. Yeah. Yes. yes, let's go. 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 let us go let us that's not possible. We have to see what is in immediately. They have to be stopped at all costs. We have to. We have to. We have to. Father, is this? Be fast about it. Please, be fast. Let's go and see. Let's go. I don't find it funny. against all the evil spirit in this forest with the power vested in me as the son of God I come against all the evil spirits that may exist in the shrine but all the sons of God will pass through this gate without any infliction in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus children of God we have to move ahead because this battle is life and death. Yes. Let us move! Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Father, this is the time for you to take your glory. This is the time for you to take your honor. I command you in the name of Jesus. I break every yoke that you fell on this family. That Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. I'm breaking you all over the heaven. I come for Lord Jesus Christ. I say, Father, whatever it is all over the heaven that you, Utashi, has used all over the heaven to hold this community in bondage, I come against it all over the heaven. I cover this village all over with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. When I cover this village with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. My children, yes, Grandpa. I will say a lot and a lot of things happened after the tree was caught and destroyed. That was the beginning of the battle. <laughs> Help me, God, save me from the situation. Oh, Jinekem, Jinekem. My God and my Father, please deliver me, my God and my Father. Please, oh God, oh God, my God and my Father. The church survived it only by the special grace of God. You know what? I will tell you all that's happened. Do you have any question? Yes, you. Why was the priest so bent of cutting down the tree? God asked him to do it because it was an evil tree. A lot of evil happened through that tree, even without the knowledge of the community. And above all, it was taking God's glory. Now, who can tell me what the first commandment says? Yes, you. Thou shalt not have another God before Good. Thou shalt not have another God before me. Mm. Children. Yes, Grandpa. Yes. But, Grandpa, what happened to Utash? By tomorrow, you will know everything when I must have finished my story. Children. Yes, Grandpa. It is time to go. We all know that all works and no play makes Jack a doll fall. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>